And we're back. And what are we doing? This week, we are making... Don't look at the bag. If you can even tell me what the name of the... Exit we're making is. a chalk. A chalk. We've got what? A few pieces of... What is this? Chalk pastels. Chalk pastels. What's the glove for? What can we do with the chalk pastels? Do you just kind of let it go wherever, right? Did you say that already? No. Okay. What do we do? Is there, is there a certain way about this? Oh, that side's better. <laughs> That's the side that I was trying to show everybody. I thought the camera was back there. It looks like some geographical commodity. No. What? Can we do our hands? Are you ready? Remember, I'm funny. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to show you how to make your own floating chalk prints. But before we get started, thank you to everyone who sent in pictures and videos of all the projects and different activities that they're doing at home. We love seeing them, so keep sharing them. And when you send them in, we're gonna feature them in our next video. So if you're using your kit, or if you wanna just do this at home, we need some chalk pastels. We have three colors here. I've got some cardstock. A popsicle stick and we've got two gloves. You're also going to want a shallow dish or a pan that your paper will fit in and we're going to use some water for this project as well. Can you do that? Show off. All right first step we're going to pour some water. Is that right? Yeah. We're going to pour some water in. Go ahead, pour your water into your dish. You want enough to cover the bottom of your container. Okay. Okay. Get fancy with it. Fancy. Oh. Step two, apparently. Oh, these are tiny. <laughs> They're not going to fit on your hands. Put on the gloves. The best that you can. What size did we give everybody? <laughs> Mini. All right, so once you've got your gloves on or partially on, do the best you can. <laughs> We're going to take our popsicle stick and our chalk pastels one at a time and you're just going to use the popsicle stick to scrape your chalk pastel and you want the dust to fall off into the water that we just poured. I have to say, I um, I have bluey colors and I'm wearing a bluey shirt. If you like bluey, let us know. What's your favorite episode? If you don't like bluey, well, who, do who doesn't? Don't do that. It's okay. Yep, we're just scraping our chalk pastels as Ooh. much as we want onto the water. Did you see that? The brown does something weird. The brown pushes the oh. other one away. You're going for a design. I'm just scraping oh. everything together. Well, some of us we'll think a little bit more about our process, you know? Once you've got enough chalk on top of the water, you think it looks good, we're just going to take our paper mm -hmm. and we're just going to rest it right on top of the chalk. So drop it right in the water and you can push down on it a little bit if you want to just to make sure everything touches. You don't have to submerge it or anything like that. Just let it sit there for a second or so, make sure all the paper touches and when you're ready, you just pull it up. Ooh, it does look like bluey. Look at that. And you've got a floating chalk print. So now just let it dry. And you can make as many prints, you can make as many prints as chalk that you have left. Look at those. Look at these specifically. Mm-hmm, I agree. Oh, did it just, it just moved on screen. Let's look at these. This is how not to do it. 
and how it you'd like to do it just like that if you want to annoy your parents catch it just right there huh oh. i can't hear it if you can hear it it's giving me goosebumps really <laughs> yes oh my gosh and that's the way the chalk crumbles